Space, the final frontier. It beckons with the promise of discovery and the unknown. Astronauts, driven by curiosity and courage, venture into this unforgiving realm. They face challenges unimaginable to us Earth-bound folks. Beyond Earth's protective atmosphere, space is a harsh mistress. It's a place of extreme temperatures, relentless radiation, and a vacuum that can boil blood. Yet these are dangers we understand, dangers we can plan for. The real threats often lurk unseen, silent assassins in the void. Micrometeoroids traveling at phenomenal speeds can puncture spacecraft hulls with ease. A stray bolt, set adrift by a careless astronaut, transforms into a high-velocity projectile. And then there's the problem of space junk. Millions of pieces of debris, remnants of past missions, orbiting Earth at lethal speeds. Each one poses a collision risk, a potential catastrophe for astronauts and spacecraft alike. Imagine a cosmic junkyard, a chaotic cloud of debris encircling our planet. Spent rocket stages, defunct satellites, even flecks of paint, all trapped in Earth's gravitational grip, whizzing around at thousands of miles per hour. This is the reality of orbital debris, a growing threat to space exploration. Even a tiny object colliding with a spacecraft at such high velocities can cause significant damage. Remember the chipped window of the International Space Station? A paint chip no larger than a few millimeters was the culprit. Tracking these pieces of space junk is a monumental task. Ground-based radar systems and telescopes constantly scan the skies, cataloging and monitoring their movements, but the sheer number of these objects, from the size of a school bus to a speck of dust, makes tracking them all a near impossibility. The consequences of a collision can be catastrophic. A chain reaction known as the Kessler syndrome could occur. This domino effect of colliding debris could create an impenetrable barrier around Earth, effectively trapping us on our own planet. Down here on Earth, gravity is our constant companion. We take it for granted, this force that keeps our feet firmly planted on the ground. But in the microgravity of space, Newton's laws of motion take on a whole new meaning. Objects in motion stay in motion, traveling in a straight line unless acted upon by an external force. This seemingly simple law has profound implications for astronauts working in the weightlessness of space. A simple task like turning a wrench becomes a lesson in counterforce. Without gravity to anchor them, astronauts must be mindful of every action, every movement. Otherwise, they risk sending themselves spinning out of control. Even something as simple as eating or drinking becomes a challenge. Liquids form into floating globules and crumbs drift through the air, posing choking hazards. Astronauts must adapt to this strange new environment, learning to live and work in a place where up and down have no meaning. Section 4. Spacesuits, our fragile lifeline. In the vacuum of space, our bodies would last mere minutes. Without the pressure of Earth's atmosphere, our blood would boil, our lungs would collapse. Our only protection against this hostile environment, the spacesuit. A marvel of engineering, the spacesuit is essentially a personalized spacecraft. It provides oxygen, regulates temperature, and shields astronauts from the harmful radiation of the sun but it's also a bulky and cumbersome contraption, limiting mobility and dexterity. Imagine trying to repair a satellite, your fingers encased in thick gloves, your movements restricted by the pressurized suit. It's a testament to the skill and ingenuity of astronauts that they are able to perform such complex tasks in such unforgiving conditions. But spacesuits are not without their risks. Tears, punctures, or equipment malfunctions can have dire consequences. In 2013, Italian astronaut Luca Parmitano experienced a terrifying incident when his helmet began filling with water during a spacewalk. His quick thinking and the support of his crewmates saved his life, but the incident served as a stark reminder of the ever-present dangers of working in space. Section 5. The Fiery Gauntlet of Reentry. Returning to Earth after a sojourn in space is no walk in the park. It's a fiery high-speed plunge through the atmosphere, a delicate dance between gravity and friction. One wrong move, one miscalculation, and the spacecraft could burn up like a meteor. As the spacecraft screams back into Earth's atmosphere at thousands of miles per hour, friction with the air molecules generates intense heat. Temperatures on the spacecraft's heat shield can reach a scorching 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt steel. Inside the spacecraft, astronauts are subjected to extreme G-forces, several times the force of gravity. Their bodies are pushed back against their seats, their organs feeling like they're being crushed. It's a testament to human endurance that they can withstand such forces. 
And then there's the landing. Parachutes deploy, slowing the spacecraft's descent, but it's still a bumpy ride. The spacecraft splashes down in the ocean or touches down on land with a thud that can be felt for miles around. It's a rough homecoming, but hey, they made it back in one piece. Section 6. Future Challenges and Innovations As we venture further into space, the challenges will only become greater. Longer missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond will require new technologies and procedures to ensure the safety of our astronauts. Shielding against radiation will be paramount. Deep space is awash in cosmic rays and solar flares, invisible particles that can damage DNA and increase the risk of cancer. Developing effective shielding materials and countermeasures will be crucial for long-duration missions. Artificial gravity is another area of active research. Prolonged exposure to microgravity can weaken bones and muscles and affect cardiovascular health. Creating artificial gravity environments on spacecraft could mitigate these risks and improve the overall health and well-being of astronauts. And let's not forget the psychological toll of space travel. Confinement, isolation, and the stress of living and working in such a hostile environment can take a heavy toll on mental health. Developing strategies to support the psychological well-being of astronauts will be essential for the success of future missions. The future of space exploration depends on our ability to overcome these challenges. It's a daunting task, but one that we are up to. After all, the human spirit is driven by a thirst for knowledge, a desire to explore the unknown, and a relentless pursuit of the extraordinary.